Hello, this is Mike with netpix.com and the Options Mastery Program. So as many of you saw over the weekend, when you logged into your Thinkorswim platform, you noticed that there's pretty big changes uh, that have been released. They did release a new version of their platform, pretty extensive changes, uh, a lot of uh, different look and feel going on throughout the platform. So different color scheme, different defaults, um, just a lot of new features added. And let's face it, I mean, we all hate change, right? We're all stubborn traders. I'm speaking to myself here uh, I just I don't like a lot of change when I have everything set up the way that I like it I don't like to come in and see new gadgets and new bells and whistles um, it just it messes up my daily routine but uh, for the most part at least from what I have seen so far um, there's been some good changes um, that was a they did include a performance update to the platform so uh, so far so good we'll see how that uh, plays out here with the the markets being pretty crazy with the volatility we'll see how that plays out in the coming days but uh, there are some features that I did want to show you I've had some questions come in from my options mastery students asking you know how do you change back to the old look and feel um, there's no way of going back I mean once it once you update and it's an automatic update when you log into toss once you have that new version you know there's no going back but there are some things that you can do to adjust some settings and and get it to to look a little bit closer to how it used to be um, so the first thing that you want to do is up in the far right hand corner you're going to see the little setup uh, gear there go ahead and click on that and click on application settings all right so go ahead and click on look and feel Okay, that's on the left hand side under the general tab click on look and feel and this is where you're going to be able to adjust uh, to get things back to you know what they used to be so um, the up at the top the color scheme they have a new um, dark bright or old school options there uh, we can go ahead and switch this to dark let's go ahead and do that here a second see what that does for us um, this is the default when you log in you're gonna notice that there's you know it is a little bit different color scheme there um, I wasn't wild about it when I logged in so I made the, the change I clicked on setup application settings look and feel and I went back to the old-school toss I went ahead and I clicked on that bubble okay so I'm gonna click on apply and that's going to change the color scheme back. I'm just I'm used to seeing it this way. I've used it for years, and again, I just I don't like to change. But some of the new features I actually did like. Um, if you'll notice on the left hand side, the quotes, you know, it's pretty similar color scheme and something that we're used to seeing inside of Toss. But one of the new features, if I go back to the look and feel section. If I switch where it says price ticks and watch list, if I switch from font color to background color, let me go ahead and highlight that little bubble and click apply settings. I actually liked this new look over on the left hand side. Okay, I just thought it was a cleaner, I like the, the brightness over there, so I'm gonna keep it set there. I actually like that, um, but it's a very easy, simple change. If you wanna go back to the old look, you know just go ahead and highlight the other bubble and it'll go back to the old colors that you're used to seeing okay let's go back to look and feel we'll continue to work through this here we can also adjust uh, the font size okay so if you want to you know if you've got some um, some issues with the small font go ahead and switch it so you can go ahead and increase the size you know to whatever looks comfortable to you whatever you like to see on your screen very easy change there okay so that's uh, that's one of the main changes that I made right off the bat so again I went to old school toss but I did change the look of the watch list over here the way the watch list displays the second area that I made a change is over in the charting. Let me zoom in to one of these charts here. So going back to the old version of TOS, we were all very used to seeing the blue background on the charts. Okay, I looked at these charts now for an extended stretch and you know, I'm just, my eyes are programmed to see that blue background. So when you come in by default, it's gonna be set to the the black background the gray background I just I didn't like that it just didn't fit my eyes so what I did is I right clicked and I went down to style and then I went over and checked on settings 
Okay. Then I'm going to go over to Appearance. And I'm also going to click on the little arrow here where it says Common. Okay, and this is where I can change the background color. Okay, so if we go ahead, we'll switch it back to default here just to start fresh. This is by default the new way the chart looks. I just don't like that look. It just it's it's a little bit dark. I just don't think the colors pop as much. So again, you can right click on the chart, go to style, go to settings, click on the appearance tab at the top. We're going to click on the little tab here that says common. And where it says background color, I'm going to click on that little box. And I went and I wanted that blue background. So I clicked on the box that says more. And I went to the color palette here. And I went ahead and selected the blue. And let's go ahead and click apply. You know, if that's a little bit bright for you, if you want a darker blue, not a problem. You can come right back in here and switch it to whatever color looks right to you, whatever fits your eye there. Um, if it's blue, that's great. If it's a different shade of gray, that's fine too. Does not matter, but uh, pretty simple fix there. Um, once you have all your charts set up the way that you'd like them, I personally have 20 charts. Um, it should auto save, but um, what I did is I clicked on the little grid box here. And I went down to save grid as and I gave it a name just to make sure just that I make sure that I have all the settings the way that I want it, the charts the way that I want them. Um, and uh, then I was good to go first thing this morning. So I made those changes over the weekend. Um, again, I know we don't like change. You know, we all you know, freak out when we come in and see everything switched around on us. But um, you know, all in all, if, uh, if you want to make those changes, it's a pretty simple process. I was able to do so in about 10, 15 minutes of playing around with it. So um, some new features in there. They've gotten rid of the blue dot. Okay, so if we come over to the trade page, if you were to actually place a trade, you know, you, you've probably been used to seeing the blue dot everywhere. We click on the blue dot to try to create a closing position off of the monitor tab. They've gotten rid of that. Um, again, the performance updates, uh, we really noticed it today. Typically, you know, when we see the market move to the downside, uh, especially over the past number of weeks, the TOS platform has definitely had an issue with lag. Uh, the platform has actually frozen on me a number of times. Didn't see that happen today um, on my trading computer. So, you know, it was a pretty wild day for most of the session with a lot of nasty selling and uh, I didn't see any issues so I'm hoping fingers crossed that they did get the issues resolved and um, going forward I'm hoping that that's not an issue any longer so um, if you have any questions feel free to contact me I'll do my best and you know it's, it's gonna be a learning process here anytime there's such a big release it's gonna take some time to get to know you know get a feel for all the changes and you know get a feel for the new style but I think after a couple of days I think we'll all be be fine and we'll forget that the changes were ever were ever made so adjust the colors adjust the look of the platform and and again feel free to send me an email if you have any questions or need any help with that uh, mike at netpicks.com is the way to reach me all right so i'll be back here in the next couple days with some updates on some trades we had a very active start to the week already closed out of a couple of winning trades so i'll be back in the next couple days to walk you through those